What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, I wanted to go over basically the Wells Fargo Duo, another one of those duos that isn't um, American Express or Chase. So I wanted to go over other credit cards that offer you a lot more um, benefits than some of the other credit cards that you could get. So um, these two credit cards that are on this list are really good credit cards and I talk about one all the time. Um, so I'll get into those uh, credit cards in just a second, but I do want to remind you that I am doing a giveaway every week. I'm giving away two Amazon gift cards. So on Friday, I'm giving away two Amazon gift cards. All you have to do to enter that giveaway, put your name in the hat for that giveaway, is comment on every video for this week, as many as you can. Also like um, as many videos as you can this week, and then also be subscribed to my YouTube channel to enter that giveaway. Um, that's an official way of putting your name in the hat, and then I'm gonna do a uh, draft, just like a lottery pick, so I'm gonna pick it out of a hat, and then whatever name comes out, that's the winner of the giveaway. So go ahead and check that giveaway video out for last week if you wanna know the structure if you're new to my YouTube channel. So um, if you are new, welcome. Um, but I'm gonna get into this breakdown. So why Wells Fargo? Uh, to be honest with you, um, I don't know. The only thing that brought me to this place was the rewards and the value that these cards have. Not because of the name. I, um, American Express brings me to their site because of their name. Chase brings me to their site because of their name. You know, places bring me to their places because of their brand. Um, but I can't say that I love Wells Fargo. I bank with a credit union. I love credit unions. Historically, I've always loved uh, credit unions. Um, but the two credit cards that I have here definitely have a lot of value to them, and I wouldn't complain about them at all, ever. So let's jump into the breakdowns of the individual cards, and then we could jump into the breakdown um, of the total look on things and why um, you get so much value out of it. So first, let's talk about the Wells Fargo Propel card. And this is by American Express, and I know this is a co-branded card, but they do offer you a lot of value in Wells Fargo points um, and not American Express points. So this is technically a Wells Fargo card. Um, I do have this card. I have it right here. It's in my wallet. Um, if you want to know what this wallet is, then um, I can have that down in the description as well. Um, but um, I do have the card and I love the card. I can't, I don't have any complaints about it at all, especially since it's no annual fee. Um, so you definitely want to check out that video. If you want to see that video that I did on the Propel card, make sure you look up the video in the cards. It'll be up there somewhere. Um, but go ahead and check it out. Um, but this card, let's get into the breakdown of all the perks for this card, and then we can get into the next card as well. So this card has no annual fee, just like I mentioned. That's good with any card that offers you uh, bonus points, that offers you um, reward points. Um, and that's just what it is. This card also offers you a bonus of 30,000 points when you spend $3,000 in your first three months, um, which is not a, a huge ask. Um, it's just $3,000, and I mean, if you don't have $3,000 worth of bills, I don't expect you to stretch to to uh, get to this spend, um, but it is 30,000 points valued at one cent per point, so it would be $300 that you get back. Um, <clears throat> you also have three times points on travel, dining, gas, and a select streaming service, um, so they have like Netflix. Um, they have other streaming services there, but I obviously use it on Netflix, Um you also have one times back on all other spend, um, and then you have an intro APR of zero for uh, 12 months. So so this is definitely a good card by itself, but when it's combined with the other card, um, it's just really great. It's a really great situation. So let's get into the next card. The next card is a card that I don't have. Um, it is the Wells Fargo Visa Signature Card, and you probably already guessed this because Wells Fargo doesn't really have many credit cards, but it is a good credit card, and I, I know because I've, I've heard it from people and uh, some people that have it and some people that just review it, um, but this seems like a really good card. So this card does not offer a bonus. It does have an intro APR of zero for the first 15 months, so that's one step up. Um, and it does offer you five times rewards points um, earned for up to $12,500 on gas, groceries, drugstore purchases um, for the first six months. So um, that's definitely a good thing. And then one, um, one times on all other. So why do I say that this is a good card or this is a good combination? Um, 
Well, the reason is, is because if you get three times back with Wells Fargo, you get three times back um, with the Propel card, you can transfer those points over to um, the Visa Signature card. Um, and there's value in doing that. And I'll get into that in just a second. So when you look at the Propel card, um, you can redeem those points for one cent per point. Um, and that would be like, say, if you were looking at the bonus of 30,000 points, that would be $300, one cent per point, uh, $300 that you get back. Um, that's a really good value um, because obviously it's like looking at like one cent, uh, 1%, 2%, 3%, stuff like that. Um, so that's a good value by itself. Now, also, you have the Visa Signature Card, which can be redeemed at one cent per point um, towards travel, hotels, uh, cruises, rental cars, um, things like that. But um, if you redeem it specifically through flights, you can get 1.5 cents um, per point. So that's a really good deal because that gave you so much value just by doing it on specifically flights. So if you have this card and specifically want to use it for flights, um, you're gaining a lot out of it. And it's not costing you pretty much, it's not costing you anything. Um, also, it can be boosted to 1.75 cents per point if you spend over $50,000 on your Visa Signature card. So that's where it gets a little bit tough because if you don't have the um, value, if you don't have the value in all of the perks, then you're not going to spend $50,000. Um, dollars on your Visa Signature card. So 1.5 is definitely going to give you a huge uh, value. Um, so if you're looking at all of the different cash back options and the uh, percentage options that you can get back, basically with the Propel and Signature card, you can get 4 to 5%, basically 4.5 to 5.25% 5 .5 um, total percentage back um, if you do all of the categories right and you work everything the right way. So I feel like you're gaining a lot out of this. And um, this is something that I'm really considering is getting the signature card because I already have the Propel card. And since I already spent through gas and I already spent through through uh, streaming services, then I know that I'm going to gain a ton of value out of it and not paying an annual fee. So it's a no brainer. And um, if you would think about like how this is more valuable than other cards out there, I think it is, especially the fact that you're not paying an annual fee. Other cards where you have this much redeemable value, you would have to pay an annual fee, but you don't have to do that here. So I feel like this is definitely a good option. These are the cards that you want to go with if you want to consider Wells Fargo cards. Um, I'm not really a Wells Fargo person, but apparently I am because of the Propel card. Um, so I really think this is a really good duo out there and a lot of people underestimate this duo um, But that's my video if you liked it make sure you hit the like button that helps me out a lot Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one Also, you have to remember that I'm doing a giveaway every single week So put your name in the hat hit the subscribe button comment on every single video um, that is published for this week and then also like every video that's published for this week just to put your name in the hat multiple times so the more that you comment and like the more that your name goes in the hat the better chances you have in order to you know get picked so go ahead and do that and um, I'm gonna have to get out of here but until next time I'll see you guys later